The following video is for informational purposes only. Proceed with the suggested repairs at your own risk. This video is part of a comprehensive 11 chapter series detailing single venous service. Servicing venous requires special tools. The seasoned BMW techs at Bomb Tools will help you choose the right tools for the models you work with, whether it's a single or double venous on a BMW or any other European car you're repairing. The Bomb Tools guys have it, or know where to get it. German Automotive Special Tools since 1959. That's all we do. Now let's join Angelo Campana for an excerpt from his Single Venos Service Seminar. So, to get started with, first of all, something real important. I don't care how good you are at fixing cars, fellas, but don't get cocky, as a mistake will cost you buku bucks and you're not going to find out that you made the mistake until you get it all back together. So, piece of advice, take your time. The first, second, third, fourth, and following times that you perform this job. You're in no hurry to do this because it's a six-hour job, probably the first time that you do it. These engines are valve benders, and you don't want to screw the pooch on this one. Been there and done that. Have all the following appropriate tools and parts ready prior to starting this job. No need to stop in the middle of things trying to find a tool or a part while you're doing this job because you really do eventually want to get this job to be three hours and get paid for six, right? Right. So let's get started. You'll need to get the appropriate tools and the parts to do this thing right. Don't shortcut the job the first time or you'll be sorry. So enough warnings. I think you get it. You want to be proud of the work that you do in the end. I know I always did. I'm going to include the following information with the procedures, so get your pens and paper, take notes, and pay attention. Again, this is the kit that you will need to do this job and other jobs properly. Also, here are some other parts that you will need that will be required to replace. The Venos gasket, the Venos oil pipe washers, two of those, a valve cover gasket set for the particular M50 or 52 engine, which also includes these other parts, 15 valve cover grommets. Now, obviously, I didn't think I had to put 15 pictures of this grommet up on the page in a literal sense, as I consider them a requirement, or at least in my opinion, I always replace those. Uh, oil filler uh, gasket, uh, now, being a professional automotive technician for almost, you know, 45 years, I've learned this lesson well as, again, wisdom is an accumulation of pain. Things get broken, things get gone during a job, and especially if you think it's an easy job. On that statement, I'd advise you to purchase the following items for that job. Uh, your cover bolt or nut caps for those, four engine cover pads, two fan shroud rivets, and for the E36 model, you'll also need the two air duct rivets. And for the E39, go ahead and get a radiator overflow neck. Now, let, let me get you a grasp on this radiator overflow neck. Normally, you don't replace it. But for an additional 25 bucks, it's worth it. Trust me, because if you break that overflow neck, uh, that job is not going to get finished that day. And don't need to have a car almost fixed, because almost is only good in horseshoes and hand grenades. Thanks for watching. This video was brought to you by BTU Service Solutions, a division of Bomb Tools Unlimited, Euro Diagnostic Resources, and Euro Auto Training. We are focused on helping you and your auto repair business thrive. We're eager for your feedback your comments, and your suggestions. Send us an email, comments at euroautotraining.com. Yeah.